everyone, how's it going? It's me, it's Jaylene, also known as Fem4. Today is a great day for some self-loving, and luckily enough, this is a perfect video for you. I'm gonna tell you all about the importance of masturbation. Heck yeah. First thing I'm gonna do though is explore the shame factors as to why we might be kind of embarrassed to touch ourselves in that way or in a sexual manner. And then I'm gonna be going into the fun facts as to why masturbation is actually a really huge pro for you. Like I said, I first wanna talk about the reasons why we might not wanna masturbate or feel shame and embarrassment around it. One factor is religion. Some religions have rules surrounding self-pleasure and some actually forbid self-pleasure. So we also want to recognize with that, it can be a really, really huge struggle in terms of your values, whether you want your own pleasure, but also there's just something that you really believe in and follow, and you really want to adhere to those rules as well. It's kind of like a tug of war of sorts. A second factor, and it's a little bit more common with everyone, is shame. Shame. We have in our society that the idea of touching yourself is a little bit more weird than touching another person, and it's usually because we're so focused on our partner sex here in Western culture. Not only that, but shame can actually stem from even your childhood. When we're little kids, we actually don't really know what we're doing with our own bodies, what's what, what's private, what's not. So sometimes maybe if we're having our hand down on our muha and then our parents freak out, we have no idea what's going on. Generally, that will be a little bit more of a shame factor when we're growing up. We're gonna carry that with us. I even see on some medical websites when they're talking about masturbation, one of their side effects is what they have is guilt. I already kind of think, okay, well, I should be feeling guilty because that's exactly what they're determining for me. The really, really cool thing is that with those two things, there still is always a choice. But besides those things, so here are two really main reasons why you should be masturbating. Number one is know thyself. It can take years for someone else to figure out what you actually like in bed. There's actually a really fun little sneaky trick about this, is that you can be independent and do the dirty work yourself and figure out what you like. How fun! Not only is it easier for you to know what certain moves turn you on down there, but also it's actually an act of self-love. You're learning how to explore your own body and receive touch from yourself and like it. Because honestly, how are you supposed to feel comfortable loving another person if you don't feel very comfortable loving yourself? I just don't see the math here. And same thing with loving, it's the same thing that goes for masturbation. Knowing thyself actually leads me very easily into the second step, which is t you can tell others. Remember how I said it takes couples sometimes years to figure out what the other person actually likes and what their little hot spots are? Well, now you can actually talk to your partner and actually even show them yourself what sort of moves you actually like. It's a huge highway to the very best finish line. Another hot thing though about being with a partner and you like masturbating is if you are comfortable doing it enough alone, sometimes a really cool trick and tip is if you really want to do a masturbation show in front of your partner. Obviously this is a little bit more of an exhibitionist activity so if you like being watched, go ahead, do it. If you don't, I suggest you take a step into your courage zone and show your loving partner who probably loves seeing you get turned on how you turn yourself on. And now we have arrived to the reasons why you shouldn't feel any shame about masturbation in the first place. And it's these bunch of facts that I'm gonna be showing you about how common it actually really is. The fact, in 2018, there was the largest masturbation survey. And in that survey, about 78% of adults say they masturbate. To dive further into that, about 57% of younger millennials get more solo rock in than any other age group there is. They do it about weekly. For me, it's almost daily, but what are you gonna do? Out of a study through the British, German, and American people, the average age of starting masturbation is 15 years old. It was a study done in 2015 and it interviewed about 82 married women, half being who've never really self-pleasured before and then half being who do. This one study actually shows how masturbation can actually help improve your sex life with your partner. It found significant differences in five things. More orgasms, higher sexual desire, they reach horniness more quickly, they have higher self-esteem, and last but not least, they have greater marital satisfaction. Yeah! So as we see here, we see that the proof of why masturbation is good for you exists, and not only for yourself, but also for your relationships, which is kind of amazing. The only thing that we really need to abolish is our personal shame factors that we do have, and if you feel like you need a little bit more of a coaching around that, 
hit me up on any of the links below and we can schedule a one-on-one -on -one coaching session together. Be sure to also follow me on IG and Facebook for other cool content in lieu of this video and make sure you also subscribe to get more fun sex education content. Thanks for watching everyone. It's me, Jaylene Benfort.